Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I, uh, pardon the hair, I was out today, out and about, and it was that drizzly, hate that kind of rain, you know? So I got rained on and I don't care. <laughs> it is what it is, I'm me, that's all. So anyway, I wanted to tell you guys that I went to the Goodwill today. I wasn't planning on going there, but I had bought these um, shades for my bedroom windows. And they were the paper, the, the kind of uh, accordion folded paper shades, which I really liked. But because of the way my windows are, I wasn't able to attach them. I needed the kind that you attach on the sides of the window, not on the top, because the way the windows are, there is not enough wood space to attach the brackets to. The brackets are wider than the amount of wood that I have. So I had to take them back and of course, Home Depot's right up the street from Goodwill. And I'm not even kidding you. It's like two blocks away. So, you know I was going to stop in there since I was over there. And I am really, really glad I did because I found an amazing vintage Halloween item. Yes, you did hear Halloween and vintage in the same sentence. I, I kid you not. I had detached retina and I almost fell running to the shelf with the cart. Just saying, telling it like it is. I could not believe my eyes. And uh, you'll see why um, when I show you what I found. Um, I do have a couple pieces of friend mail that I would like to share with you um, before I get on with the haul. It is not a whole lot. So, um, yeah. So, I figured this is the perfect time. I've had these packages sitting and they actually kind of got buried in some of my donations that I had. And... I didn't see them. I forgot they were there until this morning when I took my donations and put them in the car because I was going to Goodwill and there they were. <laughs> so my apologies to those of you who did send me these packages. Um, it was not my intention to have them sitting there for that long. So please take my apology. All right. So let me just move this over here. If you hear like a funny sound in the background, uh, as you all know, my oven does not work. And I did actually get a new oven. I was able to finally um, order one and it'll be delivered on November 13th. So whew, thank you. But in the meantime, I, I know, I think I showed it. I might not have. I probably didn't. Um, about a month ago, I bought this amazing toaster oven at the Goodwill for $15. And it's not just an ordinary toaster oven. It's a convection oven to boot. I have a meatloaf in it cooking right now. <laughs> and last week, I broiled some fish fillets in it and they came out fabulous. So, I will have to let you know how the meatloaf comes out. So, and I will actually, I'll, I'll take a picture of it and I will insert it in um, the video for you right here. But I know it's called Avante. I think that's what it's called. Avante or Aviant or something like that. But you'll see in the picture. All right. So, let me start. Well, first, let me start. My friend, Cindy Warman... Uh, watched my video when I hauled that amazing mid-century um, fondue 
uh, pot. Brand new in the box, right? But it didn't have any forks with it. So she said, I have some forks. I'll send them to you. And I was like, well, thank you. And then I went that same day and found forks. But anyway, she did send me the forks. And she's saying, oh, they're not, they're not in as good a shape as I thought. But you know what? They really are. They're in very good shape. They just have to be washed. That's all. And they're in the box. But of course, I'm going to take them out of the box and put them in the box with the actual fondue pot. So now I have all kinds of fondue forks. <laughs> so Cindy, thank you so much. And you have a little surprise coming your way as well. <laughs> okay, so I got those. Then I got a little package here. Um, it's actually a couple little packages. Um, it says, I have to say, I don't know who it's from until I open the card. But it says, been saving this card for someone special. You win. Aw, I've had it a while. And so there's the card and then there's a couple little little packages. So let me see the card. You know, I have a letter opener and of course it's over there. <laughs> oh, how beautiful this card is. I am putting this in a frame. Look at that card. Let me show you close up the beauty. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It says, thought you could use a little note of cheer, thinking of you. I know you have surgery coming up and thought this beautiful card would bring a smile to your face. Angels and fairies are watching over you and me too. Um, this is from my friend Lita, who lives in Canada. She said, card number one, coming soon. It was for Christmas. <laughs> it's just, Lita, this is a beautiful card. I can't tell you how gorgeous I think this is. Oh my word. That's going into a picture frame. And it's, it's going to hang in my... Um, in my craft room or my eBay room, absolutely. So, <laughs> it's a little heart magnet and I actually bought um, a magnetic board so I could put everybody's business cards on it and stuff like that. So, I, that is adorable. That'll go on my board. Then, what do we have here? I was looking at magnets today at Dollar Tree because I stopped in there too. And they're all like, they're big. Like, don't they have any little ones? You know, I don't need those big gigundo magnets. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hold on, guys. <laughs> Here, let me put it on my arm. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Lena, where the heck did you find these? <laughs> These are fabulous. Oh my God. I cannot wait to show my daughter these sacks. She's going to be like, what the heck? <laughs> Here, there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Well, those made my day. 
Oh, Lita, thank you. I needed that laugh today. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. Those are hysterical. Oh, this is the <laughs> this is the other card. I didn't see it. Uh, she said, hi, Dee. When I found these, I cracked up laughing. Gee, I don't know why. <laughs> I thought Dee will get a kick out of them. They are all washed and ready to go. <laughs> oh, my God. Lita, you are the best. Thank you. <laughs> Those are fabulous. Oh, my goodness. Oh, when, when I snort when I'm laughing, that means it's good. <laughs> All right. Oh, and I have something here from my friend Lynn. Lynn Koval says, open carefully. There's fabric inside. All right, so let me see. Um, Let me see if I can do this. I'm just going to do a little slit right here just to cut the tape a little bit. There we go. I should have brought my scissors too. Okay, we got it. We got it. Oh. <laughs> stuff it and it's got a front and a back oh that is awesome Lynn thank you oh my god I still have to make my other um pillow out of the material that I got before um for um it was Christmas material and I have the actual pillow downstairs oh my gosh that is awesome and of course, she always sends me a little card. She makes all of her cards. I mean, look how cute. Look at that card. Oh my goodness. Hi Dee, I saw this while out thrifting and thought you might like it to make a pillow for your future grandbabies. That's an awesome idea. Many blessings, Lynn. Thank you very much, Lynn. Oh my gosh. When I make these pillows, I'm going to show you guys. So, that this is awesome. Thank you so much. I'm going to put it right back in this envelope because that way it won't get dirty. Oh, wow. All right. And then I have a package here. I already cut it open. This is from um, Rayanne, and she lives in New Jersey. New Jersey. So let me see. There is a card here. It says, hello, 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 hello. <laughs> um, it says, 2D, I love watching your show on YouTube. When I went thrifting, I saw these things and thought of you, except for the faux cake. I made it for you. Your friend, Rayanne. Oh my gosh, Rayanne. I can't wait to see it. That's awesome. Okay, let me put the card back in here and let's dig in. Oh, here's the cake. Okay, I'm not, I'm going to save that for last. Hold on. Let me pull everything out. Oh, look it. Oh, how cute. That is adorable. Aw. Oh, look, here's a, oh, here's another bunny. Look. Oh, how cute. Oh, my goodness. All right, let me just put this stuff back in here. And oh my goodness, it is a blue bow duck, you guys. Hold on. Hold on. 
I have to put it together. And I got it. I'm going to have to glue the ducky back on because she came off in the travel. Look at this. <laughs> How cute is she? Look at her. <laughs> oh my goodness. How adorable. Oh Lord. How stinking cute. I got to stop saying that. I sound like Kelly Barlow. I love Kelly Barlow, but I got to stop saying that. Kelly Barlow makes some amazing crafts. Just saying. Oh, and you know who else I love to watch? She makes very simple and easy um, jewelry. Is Happy Birds... Happy Birds Glitter Nest, I believe it's called. I'll link her channel in the description. She makes some really awesome jewelry and other little crafts and stuff like that. It used to be Happy Birds Crafting Haven. I don't I can't remember if she changed it or not, but I'll put it in there. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh my gosh. Hold on, guys. I'm stuck. Hold on. All right. Let me put that over there. Oh, look at <laughs> This will be so cute for Easter. Look at that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Look at them. Aren't they adorable? She's missing some of her eyelashes, but you know what? I just might be able to fashion some little eyelashes for her. Yes, indeed. I will fix her right up. Oh, these are adorable. Oh, I love them. I love them. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to put this on my window in my car. How cute is that? Look at it. Oh, my word. <laughs> that is the cutest thing ever. So there's two of these bunnies. There's two of them. Oh my goodness. Oh, Rayanne. Okay, now wait. I gotta I gotta show you the cake. This looks awesome. Hang on. Oh wow. Look at this, you guys. Is that not cool or what? I've seen people make these cakes. And um, the girl that I saw do it, her name is Davida Lane. And I'll leave her uh, channel in the description box too. She makes some amazing crafts, let me tell you. And she does make faux cakes. And I, I believe they use like plaster of Paris or something like that. And then pipe it just like you would regular frosting. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. Rayanne, thank you so very much. This was amazing. Thank you. And you know, guys, I cannot wait until I get my, uh, my craft room back and everything so I can display a lot of these things that people send me. Right now, a lot of them are packed away that I'm not using in my decor so that when I do get my room, I can have all of them on shelves in there. So uh, this is where these things are going to go. Um, when, once my daughter gets married and she moves out, I will get my second bedroom back that she took over. She took that bedroom over when my son wasn't living here. And then she took over, well, then she already had a bedroom in the basement. So she has two rooms. Yeah, yeah. So this was just awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. 
uh, thank you. I, you know, there's just not enough words to thank everybody for spending their money and to buy things for me. I mean, I, I can't tell you how wonderful it makes me feel. And just to know that people like me that much to even bother sending me things. I mean, it's just, it's amazing to me. It really, really is. And like I said, I could never thank you enough. Wonderful, wonderful gifts. Oh my goodness. I'm going to leave my little heart thing out so I can put it on my, um, my magnetic board. Okay, everyone. So, uh, I spent 40 something dollars today. I don't have the receipt with me. It's, I don't have it handy, but, um, so let me show you what I got. So I bought this bag of ornaments. It was uh, $3.49. So let me show you what was in the bag. This is why I bought the bag of items. So there are these two figurines from Made in Japan. <laughs> Uh, that's the tag. And they're both holding, they go like this, and they're both holding gifts behind their back. So those are adorable. Those were in the bag, but I wanted these, which are from 1972, and they were 59 cents, and they came from the William Hengerer Company. So there's this tree. You could tell it's old because it's got the old uh, glitter on it. And then there were these two little ones with the glitter. Whoops. <laughs> also in the bag were these uh, three hand-blown glass angel um, ornaments. But when I went to set the box down, the plastic bag slid off the box, hit the floor, and that is what is left of my hand-blown angels. You know, the other day it was the Blendo glass. Today it's my poor angels, this one is the best one she she's missing her wing it came off i might be able to glue it back on because it's right here but the rest of them hi binks the rest of them are like they're tore up so unfortunately um i can't save those but i might be able to save this one dang it all Hopefully that's the right wing. I don't want to throw this out until I make sure that it's the right wing. I have a selection of three. <laughs> Let me see. I think it's this one, though. Yeah, it's it's this one. Pretty sure. Let me double check. Yeah, it's definitely that one. So those can go in the garbage, unfortunately. All right. So there's that, there's those items. Then I grabbed this old game. I think it's from 1980, no, 79. Remember this game, Einstein? Um, I did look it up. I can't remember what they sold for, but um, I would make a profit on it if it works. So I came home, I opened it up. I opened up the one compartment and it was a nine volt battery. So I put a new nine volt battery in it and it still didn't work. Then I realized there were two battery compartments. So on the other end, it took two C size batteries. 
I put two C-size batteries that I had, which I've had these batteries for a long time, and it didn't work. I think it might be because the batteries are old and don't work anymore. Hopefully. So I'm going to go and grab um, some new C-size batteries and try it out and see if it works. If it doesn't work, I got screwed out of $3.39. $3.49. You know, what are you going to do? You can't try it in the store because they don't have the batteries in the store. So, yeah. So, we'll see what happens. Then I found um, one of these, I, I don't know what they're called. They're, they're egg planters. That's what I call them. Little footed egg planters. It's in perfect condition. I was trying to take the price off it. It was $1.50, which I'm very surprised because normally this would have been priced at $3.49. Um, so as I said, I guess it just depends on who's working. <laughs> so I got that. I did, I had to grab this. This was so cool. And I'm going to give a shout out to another person. Um, I started watching her a few years ago. Uh, her name is um, Helen. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> mm -hmm. Anyways, she's like 82 years old and has a YouTube channel. And she makes some amazing things. Most of her things that she makes are out of uh, cement. And she made a planter exactly like this out of a real pair of jeans and cement. This is so cool. What an awesome planter to have outside in your yard. Yep, I paid $249, which I'm shocked again, because this normally would have been marked at least $549. So, um, I believe this could have been, this was a homemade ceramic piece, because when they cleaned it, they didn't clean the seam very well. That's how you can tell a lot of times if it's a a, a handmade ceramic project. Um, if if the the mold lines are not cleaned well, I, I used to do ceramics, so I know. But uh, yeah, but they did a great job, and I had to grab it. Oh, what is Helen's name? Darn it! Oh my goodness. As I said, I will link her. I'll link her in the description box. Helen. Helen, she's so darn cute. And she has a grandson named Cody that um, hangs out and chills with her and stuff. It's, she's so cute. I just love her. Um, she lives in Georgia too. Then I got this for myself. I got myself a new iPad um, case because my other one um, is coming apart and everything. And it was $3.49. I didn't think that was bad at all for, for an iPad case. And it's so cute. Here, I'm taking the price tag off. It's got the little fox with the bird. Very cute. So that's a me item. Um, these... Uh, Everything I will be reselling except for these. I'm keeping these, but I will be reselling these and the egg and the planter. Uh, okay. All right. We have to just talk about the graphics on this box. Okay. I love this box. That is basically the only reason I bought it is because of the box. This in itself is a decor piece. <laughs> look at, just look at that. 
Oh my word. And all the cake pans are in here. Um, I don't think they were ever used. Brand new. Brand new. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. So, uh, unfortunately, this will be for resale. I would love to keep this for decor. Now, the box is, is ripped down here in the corner. But that could be fixed from the underside with some tape. Oh, my goodness. Awesome. I, it was on a cart. They had brought out some carts. And I happened to glance. And, you know, you have that bionic vision when it comes to vintage graphics. And it caught my eye. And I'm like, oh, my God, what's that? And I ran over there and grabbed it out of the bottom of the cart. Oh, I know. I'm terrible. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, oh my god you know what that you know what it reminds me of I just I just had a flashback of the Brady Bunch which was one of my favorite shows okay <laughs> Alice was hilarious okay and uh it was this scene where Alice and Mrs. Brady pull in the driveway they're getting out of the station wagon and they're carrying all these bags. And Alice goes, if it's one thing I hate about those last minute sales is all the pushing and shoving. I hope I didn't hurt anybody. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's what I think about when I go like to these thrift stores and I see something and I need to get at it right away. You know, I try not to push or shove anybody, but, you know, it can happen. <laughs> but that cracked me the heck up, even way back then. And I never forgot it, see? So, she was a funny, funny lady. Then I grabbed this. This would make an amazing Christmas gift for someone. Look at this, brand new. A spa set. It was only $5.49, and it has a shower wrap, flip-flop slippers, and an embroidered eye mask. What a nice set is that? And it's so soft. It's like um, fleece, like real soft fleece. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. That's what it looks like on, <laughs> just in case you were wondering. Yeah, I mean, why not? My son could give this to his girlfriend for Christmas, you know, if they're still together. They break up um, like every other month, you know, or every other week, whatever, you know. Yeah, it's a lost cause. But anywho, yeah. So I'll just hang on to it. So if he's not with her for Christmas, he might be with her for Valentine's Day. If he's not with her for Valentine's Day, he might be with her for, uh, you know, her birthday or for Valentine's Day. Who knows? Then I got this because I looked it up while I was in there. And the exact same item sold for $50 on eBay. And what it is is a changing table. It's a character changing pad cover. Yeah. So this is Sully from Monsters Inc. $50. And it's brand new, never used. It's it's still attached with those uh plastic doohickey things. Yeah. So you know I was bringing that home. Absolutely. That's a $45 almost um profit. Wow. And the last thing that I, that I got is Binks's tail up my nostril. Hi, Binks. <laughs> What's up, buddy? No, 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 no. No, buddy. Come on. Come on. Mama's trying to show this. I picked this up also for my eBay room. Um, it's a cork bulletin board. It's good size. 
It was only $3.49, so I grabbed it. I was looking for one of these at Walmart, and I couldn't find one anywhere, so I ended up buying the magnetic one. But I also like the cork one, too, because I have a whole package of, um, you know, map um, push pins or whatever. So I can use this to hang stuff up, too, that I need to remember, which is everything. <laughs> so, yeah. So that was a great deal. Come here, buddy. Come here, what are you doing? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Come here, buddy. What are you doing? Here, you want to get down? Go ahead. Go ahead, what are you doing? Come here. You want to say hi to everyone or no? No? Okay. Well, I don't know what you're doing, but anyways, besides... <laughs> Come on, buddy. You got to stop waving your tail in front of the camera. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, Binks, my shoulder, my shoulder is shot, you guys. I'm going to end up having to have surgery soon. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so um, I found, actually, two more items. The one I forgot about because it's over here, and God forbid I might notice that it's right over here in my peripheral vision. But um, I thought this was really cool. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> so first of all, let me show you. Hang on, where's the thing? I bought this lamp from Misty at Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter from one of her live sales, and it did not work. So I rewired it, and now it works. So I just thought I would share that with you guys. It's really pretty. But it doesn't obviously go with this jack-o'-lantern face. But somebody took the jack-o'-lantern and made it into a lampshade. How cool is that? And then this side is upside down. <laughs> that is awesome, my friends. That's the top. <laughs> Here, I'll take it off and I'll show you. They just put one of these things inside so you could slip it down on top of a light bulb. I just thought that was so cool. I had to get it. <laughs> it was $3.49. I'm like, really? Come on. So I got that. So the moment you have all been waiting for. I can't believe that I found this. I'm telling you guys, I, and I cannot believe the condition that it is in. Look at, it is in like mint condition. Mint condition. I cannot believe it. And it says, it has the, the maker on the bottom. I believe it's Empire Mold. Oh, no, right here. Empire Molds 1969. So, let me just say that I almost keeled over in the middle of the Goodwill. I could not believe it because you never, ever, ever see vintage Halloween out in thrift stores. I mean, I other than the buckets, you might find a bucket, you know, but to find blow molds or um, the paper mache um, jack-o'-lanterns or anything of that nature, the the bistol, the old bistol die cuts, you're not going to find them. Those kind of things you find at estate sales and antique places. So, this is why I was hysterical when I saw this sitting on the shelf. I was like, oh my God. I mean, if I, if I could have 
spoken, I probably would have yelled that out loud. But I was in such shock, I couldn't even speak. Now, I will be offering this in a live sale. Well, not this exact one. I will tell you why. Because I could never find any of these blow molds out in the wild, I bought some on eBay. And I already have this one. But this one is in much better shape than the one that I got online. Meatloaf's done. <laughs> um, and I will show you the one that I purchased online. So this is the one I got online, and this is the one I got today. So as you can see, the paint is in much better condition on this one. Now this one I will plug in for you, and I will show it to you. Let me unplug this guy. No, I'll unplug the lamp. Okay. So here he is. Okay. So what I am going to do is I am going to keep the one that I found today for myself and I am going to offer this in one of my live sales as an offer up item. The one that I got on eBay. Works perfectly, nothing wrong with it. I just, you know what? I'm gonna keep the one that's in a little bit better shape for myself and then I will offer this to someone else. So, however, I paid like $35 for this on eBay versus, what was this one? $739, $739 I think this was. $739 versus $35. Yeah. So, that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me let me turn this off, and it, and I will send it with the 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 cord and the light uh, thing and everything because uh, when I got it, it didn't come with one, and I had an extra one, so I will include it, you know, with with it. Um, so, oh, it was great. It was just great. That's all I can say. Uh, so anyway, guys, that's it for this haul video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, I will leave all of the people um, that I mentioned in this video, uh, video, I will leave their channels in the description box. All right, so I would like to mention um, a, a few more newer YouTubers uh, so today I am going to mention, uh, her name is Nita May and she goes junking as she calls it. I think she's in Alabama or someplace like that. I can't talk Southern. Heck no. You can't have a New York person try to talk Southern. It just don't work. But I can sure talk New York. Yes, indeed. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Um, Nita May. She is funnier than all get out, okay? You guys got to check her out. She finds some really awesome stuff. And the other person I would like to um, talk about is Thrifting Adventures. My girl, Stephanie. She finds some really fabulous things. She does live sales, she does haul videos, shop with me's. She's awesome. You got to check her out. And the last person that I would like to mention is Corey, the thrifted artist. Corey is such an awesome person. She is so caring and compassionate and talented. She is an artist. She does paint. As a matter of fact, I ha I bought one of her pieces of art and I have it out for Halloween. Let me show you. I'm going to grab it really quick. 
Oh, and I might as well show you my completed other piece too. But this is this is Corey's painting. And as you can see, it is of a cemetery and it has the trees and it is so cool. Let me move it up a little bit. And when I saw that, I'm like, oh my God, I have to get that. So yeah, she's uh, she's an amazing, uh, talented person and thrifter. She finds some great things when she's out thrifting. So definitely got to check her out. Check all these people out. Give them thumbs up, subscribe, and help them out because they are so worth it. And I figured while I was up, I grabbed, I painted my cat statue. And of course, I had to paint them to look like Binks. <laughs> He's just a matte black finish. Um, I may uh, spray him with um, some protective clear uh, spray, but yeah. So he's he's out here on the shelf uh, along with this piece of artwork for Halloween. So I just figured I'd share it with you guys. <laughs> I should actually uh, put some kind of a collar on him. I think I'll make one out of jewelry, like, you know, not female-ish kind of jewelry, but you know what I mean like silver studs or something. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. You know what? I got one more thing that I totally forgot to show you guys. Hold on. I'm so sorry. I don't know what the heck I'm thinking today. I'm just going to put this back. I totally forgot all about this amazing item. This is a latch hook that someone made. It is amazing. And it is, you should see how it's finished on the back. I'm going to show you, but look it. So it is butterflies. So this is the top. I'm just, I have to stand up. It is that, it is that tall. I would have to stand up on the chair. right? It's got to be like three feet, more than three feet tall. And look how they finished it. They even put a, the sawtooth hook on the back. Look at how nicely it's finished. Beautiful. And this was only $2.89. I, I had to grab it. It is gorgeous just gorgeous and actually I purchased it for a friend of mine um, who loves butterflies I have a few friends that love butterflies so um yeah I was like oh my god that is amazing and what a lot of work you know what a beautiful job they did that was like one of the best pieces of the day too besides my blow mold oh my goodness all right guys so I just want to give you guys um, a reminder. Hopefully it all, you know, comes together. Jackie, Crafty Jackie and I are doing a live sale together tomorrow, Friday night at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And Saturday is my live sale at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Now, I have a live sale on Halloween, because it's a Saturday. However, I'm going to switch the time for that sale, which is a week from this Saturday. So October 31st, my sale on that day will not be at three. I'm going to do it at one o'clock because of trick-or-treating. Our trick-or-treating is between four and seven. So this way, uh, my sale is not running at the same time that people have to hand candy out and, and such. And then we don't have to keep getting up to hand out candy during the sale. So, 
Tomorrow is the two-way sale with me and Crafty Jackie. It's going to be Christmas items tomorrow. Saturday is my live sale, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And there is also something else in the works, possibly. Um, I may be getting together with my girl. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. I am, I'm like really lacking brain cells today. My girl Cindy at Cindy's Thrifting again. She may be coming up my way, uh, like the second week in November. And if she does, we are going to do a live sale together in the same place. We are going to meet up and we will do a live sale from my house if everything pans out. But that's not for a few weeks yet. But I just wanted to throw that out there for everyone. And I had one more thing that I wanted to mention. Um, for those of you that uh, follow me on Facebook, you may or may not know that I have a Polymer Clay Facebook page as well. But I haven't posted on that in years because I haven't worked with my clay in years. But the eight years that I was working with clay, I made a ton of jewelry. Um, I, I also, I started out making like figures, little people, uh, animals and stuff like that. And then I got into making jewelry and I made a ton, but nobody really bought it. So after a while, I just, I stopped. That's why I stopped with the clay because I got to where I really enjoyed making the jewelry and not so much the figures. Um, so, I was going through all of my polymer clay stuff that I have, the jewelry that I've made, and I wanted to know what you all thought of me doing like a little live video um, and showing you all of my polymer clay jewelry, if that's something you guys would like to see. So, um... Leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you're interested in seeing the jewelry that I made, um, and then maybe I could um, do like a like a an off day from my regular live sale. Maybe I could do a live sale of my polymer clay jewelry, depending on what everybody thinks. So I wanted to throw that out there too. Uh, so as I said, leave it in the comments section below. And let me know what your thoughts are. Alrighty, I have blabbed on enough. That will be enough for me for today. So, have a great weekend, everybody. I hope to see you all tomorrow night at 6 and Saturday afternoon at 3. Until then, catch you later.